Welcome back. Let's focus on what's happening in the state of Karnataka. Last week, Baswaraj Bomai was sworn in as the chief minister. And since then, there have been endless questions about Team Bomai, about who's going to be a part of the state cabinet. Well, we could perhaps expect some answers today, maybe, because Bomai will be meeting the BGP top pros to discuss and finalize the final cabinet. He reached Delhi last night after getting a call from the party high command. The Bombay government is likely to get its first set of new ministers. And what we're hearing is that it will be a mix of former ministers as well as completely fresh faces. And it will be interesting to see who will really make the cut and who will be left behind. The biggest challenge for Bombay will be to balance different factions. And that means including defectors, accommodating Yadirapa loyalists and also bringing in new faces will strike a balance as far as the caste factor is concerned. Former ministers Ara Shok, Umesh Kati were in Delhi lobbying for a birth in the new cabinet. Former Chief Minister Jagdish Shetar has already made it very clear that he is not in the race for a cabinet post. And here's what sources are telling us about Bomai's cabinet, who's out at this point. And these are the mantris who are not making the cut. K.S. Ishwarapa, senior BJP leader, former deputy chief minister, is not going to be a part of the cabinet, according to reports. Besides that, leaders like Shashikala Jole, popular activist in Karnataka, Kota Srinivas Pujari, again former minister, will not be a part of this cabinet. Turncoats like MTB Nagaraj are not going to be accommodated, is what we're hearing. Besides that, Srimanth Patil, K. Gopalaya, former ministers, will not be a part of Team Bombay. R. Shankar also, sources tell us, will not be inducted in the state cabinet. So that's a story we'll be tracking very closely this Monday. That's all we have time for in this edition.